Cool. <laughs> a lot of you probably just went, oh, click, this video's over. Well, we don't have any ducks to give. I know. We're all I know. out of ducks to give. <laughs> I love this. I want to drive it. I want to keep it forever. And I know I've said that before, but like this one, I feel like it's changed me. So this week we had a vehicle that we have not had before. It's the 2024 Jeep Wrangler. And this has been a favorite for everyone in the family because Megan loves it, Ella loves it, Hallie loves it. And so we're gonna spend some time with that sort of Jeep mystique. And well, I don't know if we'll figure out why people love the Jeep Wrangler so much, but the family definitely did. And now after driving this for a week, like maybe I'm a Wrangler girl. I just, I like really, really want this. Awkward because it's backwards? Yeah, we're at a different locale. I know, different um, location. Can anyone tell? It's amazing. <laughs> so normally I'm in a different, I don't know what to do with myself. Um, we are driving, well, not currently, but right here. I have the Jeep Wrangler 4E. 4 by E. 4 by E Rubicon. Do I need to say Rubicon? Uh, yeah, because this is the ultimate 4 by e So it's the Rubicon What is the X. Rubicon? Like the... It's the most off-road version. Oh, is the... And it is so, look at all the blue on the outside too. Yes. So any color you get, it still has the blue accents? Uh, the 4xE, yes. Okay. Yeah, the blue tow hooks. Are you going to talk about, is the, is, does the 4xE have a lot of benefits? Um, oh, that thing about where you can charge your stuff if you go camping. Yeah, it's a plug-in hybrid. That's okay. the main it's thing. It's a PF. Yes. For those of us that know the lingo. That like to say PF. <laughs> so I, I mean, it looks like a Jeep. It's, I think it looks so cool. And I like the top, how it's like a, it's like a hard top, but it's a comes off top. Yeah, this is the Rubicon X, so it's got the it's power the Rubicon X. Rubicon X. It's basically everything you can get on a Rubicon. Everything. Hence Which the is why winch hence the sticker the, price. Yes, the sticker price. We'll get yeah. to that. But I love, I, is that why like the front bumper looks so cool? Yeah, it's tough? got the big metal bumper with the winch. Yeah, I love everything. all that stuff. Like, I think it looks so good. The wheels look really good. The tires, the wheels. Both. Both. Like, the, normally we don't talk about tires, do we? Well, no. But, like, they're so big and fat. These are uh, um, 33. You know one thing I I think I wish it had? Why doesn't it have running boards? Because it's for off-roading. Real off-roaders don't have running boards because they lower the ground clearance. Really? Yeah. Huh. But you gotta, like, Jeep people, climb up into it. Jeep people are all nodding right now. Yes, real off-roading. <laughs> I've never driven a Jeep before. But, like, I kind of now want to be a Jeep driver now. Yeah. I kind of like feel like I'm, I've been telling people this is my new car and that I am a Jeep gal now. Well, if you're a Jeep gal, then you don't need running boards. Yeah, exactly. I knew that. Of course. Of course. Um, but I think it looks great. I love the grill. I just think it looks so tough. And that is like what I love is I love a tough, trucky looking truck. A and trucky looking truck. It's just like the truckiest of the trucks. And this, what do you call a Jeep? Like a... Is it an SUV or yeah, is it a... It's, it's sort of its own special it's SUV. It's just a Jeep. Yeah. You just call it a Jeep. It's a Jeep. Um, and we'd had a Jeep before. We I, not... I said we didn't drive a Jeep, but we did have a Jeep. Oh, you mean... Oh, we owned one. When we first got married? Yeah, what was it called? A Jeep, what? Uh, that was the Cherokee. Cherokee. And, uh, well, what happened to that? Uh, a lot of stuff broke. Yeah. But I really did love that car. Yeah. Like, it looked so good, and I loved to drive. I really did love that car. Yeah, that's the conundrum of Jeep life. Even for Wranglers? You, you know, you know Consumer <laughs> Reports just put it in the bottom 10 of reliability. Oh. Yeah. For like big things or little things? For like all things. Oh, well, that's tough. Um, that's, is it like have a good warranty or? Yeah, okay. Okay. So there's like good and bad things, but yeah. like, look how cool it looks. There you go. So I, I wouldn't let it stop me. Oh, oh, you wouldn't. Oh, great. No, no, Wonderful. I wouldn't. Because that Jeep that we had, I loved that thing. Yeah. I loved that thing. Um, I love this. 
I want to drive it. I want to keep it forever. And I know I've said that before, but like this one, I feel like it's changed me well, as a person. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot in the conclusion. Just wait. Okay. And I might. Just wait. All right. Just wait. Um, But it's it's changed me from the inside out. I'm now a Jeep gal. Uh-oh. Who knew? So this is now on my wish list. All right, yeah, I kind of agree with you when it comes to the styling because this 4 by E, I don't know about you guys, but I love the blue toe hooks and the I blue accents. I think it looks awesome like this. Now, it doesn't hurt that this is the Rubicon X trim. So this is like the fully loaded 4 by E with all of the off-road goodies, which we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. But in terms of like Jeep styling, I mean, you have the classic sort of Jeep look and they've just tweaked it, massaged it a little bit for the 2024. But I think in 4 by E with that blue accent and you've got the front bumper with the worn winch, you've got all of the sort of off-road stuff of the Rubicon package, you got the 33 inch BFG KO2 tires. Like this thing is ready. <laughs> it's got, letters. yeah, big, big, yeah. Big off-road tires is what that means. But like this thing looks kind of peak Jeep. Now, can you get Jeeps that look even more big in off-road? Yes, but not in 4xE. This is sort of the maximum that you can spec for a 4xE. So if you're interested in that plug-in hybrid range, this is as good as the PHEV, the PHEV <laughs> can possibly look. But let's talk a little bit more about that powertrain in case you are interested. All right, so in the 4xE plug-in hybrid, all right, so you get 21, well, 21 quoted miles of EV range. When we fully charge this thing up, it said it could go 25. So I'd say in day-to-day -day driving, we're getting somewhere between that, somewhere between 20 and 25. It's not a lot, but it is something, okay? It's not bad. I, I kind of like it. I like the idea of having that. There's also another benefit that I'll get to in a second, but the powertrain underneath the hood here is impressive because you've got a two liter, turbocharged four cylinder with the electric motors for a total output of 375 horsepower and 470 pound feet of torque. That is a lot. This thing is basically as fast off the line as the 392 Hemi, like the big like mega Jeep Wrangler, right? With the Hemi V8. So that's kind of crazy to think. Now, downsides, and we'll talk a little about that a little bit more in a second when we get to the driving portion. You hear it constantly. It's constantly making noise. And I don't mean it's constantly making noise in that like this is a trucky Jeep kind of vehicle. It's just a loud thrashy powertrain. And even in EV mode, there's the constant, electric stuff makes a lot of noise. Yeah, there's constant EV whine coming through the firewall. So you're gonna know that you've got the PHEV, but like I think it's kind of an interesting benefit. If you're driving this thing around town, it, we were averaging on the hybrid gas engine somewhere in the neighborhood of about like 20, I'd say low 20s MPG, which is just okay for a hybrid. But when you factor in that back and forth day-to-day -day errand running all on EV power, and the other thing, and I'll say this, we have the CX-90, the Mazda CX-90 recently, the PHEV version of that. The EV motor in that felt like it was just barely powerful enough to get that thing up to speed when you're in full EV mode. The EV motor in this feels more powerful. Like this thing will get up and move when it's in pure EV mode. It never feels strained. And that's impressive considering it weighs 5,000 pounds. So Dang. if you're a hardcore off-roader, keep that in mind because weight on the trail can be a little bit of a negative. So the PHEV version of this weighs about 5,000 pounds. So that's a lot of weight but it's super cool. So here we are hanging out in the back of my Jeep. Hanging out in the back of your Jeep. <laughs> my Jeep, you like it? Yeah. Um, and you know what I think is fun is it opens like this. It does. Yeah, but but now my question is, because like it's kind of- <gasps> Well, lift it up. Oh, I, di I didn't know that I did that. Um, there's like a lot of space back here, no? Uh, more than you'd think, honestly. Yeah, like this is, I could like hang out back here. Is that what it's for? Uh, well, like, I mean, it could be. Can we tailgate back here? Yeah, sure, why not? We are, we are at the sports fields. <laughs> and, and are we gonna take the roof off? I can't wait to see what it looks like. Well, we can open it up when you do the interior. Oh, all this stays. Yeah? Yeah, you could take all the side panels off. Typical you, Jeep. Oh, that's so cool. I just, I really want this car now. Um, but no, I love how this swings out like that. And then you don't have to Tailgate open this. Style. Yeah, you can just swing it out, stick your stuff in and close the, it. It does not have a strut. The Broncos does too and has a What's strut. What's a strut? Uh, so it doesn't go flying open. It doesn't fly open. I mean, this it is can. a strut. It's got this little strap. No, 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 like a gas strut to prevent. Yeah, but it has a strap. No, that's for if you take it off. I don't know. Keeps it in place. I never have problems with it swinging open, guys. So don't let that distract you. Don't let the man behind the mirror. What is the it? The mirror. The man behind. 
The man behind the screen? The man behind the... Camera? No, you, on the Wizard of Oz. Oh, curtain. The man behind the curtain. Yeah, wow. don't let the man behind the curtain make you think you don't need this car because you do. It's so good. It's so good. Does the back row fold down? Yeah. Like flat, flat? Oh, I don't know about no. that. It's so good. I love it. And I love the way everything looks. Everything is like a square. Like, look at that square light. The, do you see the side, the rear view mirrors? The side view mirrors? They're Those are squares. Are very tiny ones. I don't care. Everything is a square. Everything is a boxy square. There's not a curve in sight other than the really awesome steering wheel. And I love it. I love it. Oh, by the way, as Megan always demonstrates by getting into the back, the back of the unlimited, like, well, I don't think they call it unlimited, the four door Wrangler. They used to call it unlimited or something like that. Um, we're clearly not Jeep people, although Megan's becoming a I Jeep am. person a Jeep as person. we speak. <laughs> but you got about 32 cubic feet of cargo space back here. So weirdly, and we'll get to this in the interior portion, the cargo space back here is more than you would think, whereas the rear seat space is not Less as much as you would think. think. So compared to something like a Ford Bronco, the Jeep has sort of comparable cargo space to the Ford Bronco, but rear seat space, the Bronco is gonna have more rear seat space. But the Bronco is a slightly larger vehicle. And so when you're out on the trails, you're off-roading, some people appreciate the Jeep's more nimble size because it can go places and fit through places that the Bronco can't. A couple weeks ago, or I guess two months ago, I had the Bronco Raptor to test. Now the Bronco Raptor is positively ginormous. And we took that thing off road and go check out that video. We almost got stuck in a very precarious situation with my friends, but the Bronco Raptor feels like a mountain compared to this thing. So hardcore off-roaders are probably going, well, yeah, you would want something more like this to go on some of the trails that we went on. Whereas in the Raptor, we were constantly looking, you know, to make sure we weren't scraping the sides. Going back to the cargo space, the Raptor didn't have really much more cargo space than this thing did, even though it was a much, much larger vehicle. So you're getting a decent amount of space back here, even if the rear seat is a little bit tighter. So we are driving, oh, I'm driving, the Jeep Wrangler 4xE. 4xE. I don't know what, what that means. E for electricity. Oh, because it is a hybrid. It's a PHEV. It is a PHEV. I love a good PHEV. You love a good PHEV. I do. But now, that doesn't seem like there's much electric power. Is that true? Because like right now it's at zero electric power. Well, it only has 20, like 21 uh, miles, miles, 25 indicated. So let's say 25 max. Okay. Now, so not a ton of electricity, right? Is that like normal for a PHEV to have like 25? Yeah, only Toyota and Lexus really have way more, more than, than that. that. Okay. A lot of them are between 20 and 30. Um, I think it drives really well. It's, um, the it does the little brakey thing where like, where are you? When you let off the gas, it like breaks. Well, you can turn that up. I actually oh, okay. turned it off. Yesterday. Oh, I don't love that. I yeah. thought it was a little much. Yeah, and, and, the full power is a lot. Yeah, like a lot of cars I get used to, but that one felt really jerky to me. I didn't like it. So I'm glad to know that I do notice now that you didn't turn that off. Um, so that wasn't my favorite. But other than that, like this car is so fun. I have really enjoyed driving it. I feel like I could just off off into a trail, off into the woods. Don't do that. I won't, but like, I feel like I could and I like having that power. Well, that's you what know? a Wrangler does. It makes you feel like you have power to go anywhere. Yeah. Explore anywhere. Um, and I'm really not an off-road kind of gal, but I feel like I could be because of this car. Like, I feel like this car is changing me. It's transforming you. It's transforming me. Like I would have never before thought I wanted a Jeep Wrangler. Like ever, have I ever said that to you? No, you like trucks, but you never said Jeep. No, and now after driving this for a week, like maybe I'm a Wrangler girl. Until you told me how much it cost. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. It, it this must one have like a lot of things. Mega fully loaded. Yes, but I love this dash with like the, um, I know you're not looking at it, but we'll, you'll see it <laughs> well, later. Or maybe they already have seen it. In now. Yeah, <laughs> like right here? Yeah. <laughs> you love when I do that. Um, because it's got like a texture to it and it's got like the light blue or the bright blue stitching. And I do like the bright blue, the stitchings on the wheel. Yeah, There's that's like little... a four by E thing. Oh, oh, because it's electric, the right. blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks the, really cool. It actually looks really good. It does look really good. Um, it's very comfortable, I think. Now, it is a little loud when you're driving. Well, you, well that's because every body panel comes off. So that's just like a normal thing. Yeah, but there's like a lot of loudness that comes out of here. That, yeah, the engine. Is it like electric things happening? Yes, the four cylinder and the electric motor make Quite a lot a of noise. Yeah. yeah. Um, like you can't just have a quiet drive. No. 
No, that's not a thing. No, even um, the electric motor is noisy. Yeah, and did you notice, like, because I was in the driveway the other day, I parked, and then I was, I don't know, looking at my phone or something, and so then I was just sitting in the car, and then after I've been parked for a few minutes, it starts making some noises. Yeah, it's like... What is that? Like, things are the, shutting down or something, maybe? Yeah, electric systems shutting down or preparing for charging. Yeah, I was like, oh, that sounds funny. So, it's a very noisy car. <laughs> yeah, um, it does make a lot of noise. But it really hasn't bothered me. I've just, like, noticed it because I'm not used to it. No, that's but, Wrangler life. Yeah, but it hasn't bothered me at all, and I, I just... I like really, really want this car. Well, more than the Bronco? You keep asking me that. I just, I don't understand why I can't just get both. Uh, cause we're teachers? <laughs> like maybe one day. We can't in even my... get one. <laughs> in my dreams. I'm um, saying it for the audience, this or a Bronco. I don't know. They both have, give me that same vibe. Like they both make me feel like I could go anywhere and be an off-road queen and off-road queen yeah yes queen yeah they both make me feel like that so this one makes me f I, don't, I, I don't know this one's a little more sporty or something or like it's a little smaller a smaller so i think it makes you feel like sportier yeah. or something but I, I don't know that i could choose i really really like them both um i would love i mean it's cold here so we haven't done like no top or anything but like i kind of think that would be like really fun in the spring and stuff, I can see why people... Well, this one has the power top, too. What does that mean? It means you just press a button and the top opens Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah, we can't do it right now with the microphone, but we'll do it. We uh, will? Yeah, well, I'll show you it when we we're talking about it. Or maybe okay. we've already done that. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Somewhere in the video, it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's got a lot of buttons and a lot of things. I don't know what they mean. Well, that's But I think that's where the off-road is. Yeah, this is the Rubicon, so it's fully kitted out for off-road. Kitted out? Yeah. Is that what you say? Is that what the kids are saying? Uh, not the kids. That's oh. what I said. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I love it. And you know what I really love? The steering wheel. Well, it's very trucky. Whatever this material is. Leather. Oh, but it's like a smooth leather. And well, it's... this has the upgraded leather seeds, yeah. leather steering wheel. I yeah. think it's Napa it's... leather. I'm pretty oh, sure it's I, like the best. Right. Yeah, it's, it it's... feels so good. Like, I just want to like... Yeah, this is a, a nice interior. Yeah, it feels really good. Um, I... Yeah, I just, like I said, I really can't say enough good things about it. I was like excited to get this car because it's like something different, but like I didn't think I was going to love it. I thought it'd be like a car I would have fun for for a week, but now I want to like take it, keep it forever and ever. Well, you haven't been that obsessed since the, you have the Sequoia. I love that one. And the Bronco. I love that one. Yeah. There's goats. And there are goats. this. And this. It's so fun. All right, well, by the time we get to the conclusion. And did you. You have uh, to pick. Uh, oh, that's a lot of pressure. Um, my kid specifically asked for me to pick her up from school and not him so that I could pick her up in this car. Well, because you were driving this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, both the girls, Ella and Hallie, are obsessed with this thing. Yeah. They so you get like a lot of street thing. cred. I feel like I have a lot of street cred. Yes. You you know? Street cred for days. Yeah, like and I feel Wranglers. like people are looking at me, which is how I felt in the Bronco. Yes. Like people are like, whoa, look at her in that cool car. Like it definitely gives you this, like. Yeah vibe. No, the Wranglers are cool. Yeah. And and when I see other Jeeps, do they have like a wave or something? Yeah, the Jeep wave. Yeah. You, are you not supposed to wave? Yeah, you wave. Ugh, I get nervous because I didn't want to feel like a, a like poser. a poser. They yeah. Well, they don't know it's not ours. But then I, but I didn't know. I was like, what if they don't wave? What if it's a different like symbol? Like in motorcycles, you do like the hand down or whatever. That's right. Yeah. But then I was nervous. So I haven't been waving, but now I will. Well. Um, because I don't want to like make the wrong symbol. We got a couple like, days. Like what if you like shoot a peace sign or like, I didn't know, I, I, it was stressful. I so. think Jeep people are pretty late. Though. They just like wave, yeah. like, okay. And then I did park today by a Jeep that had a bunch of ducks and I yeah. thought maybe they were going to give me a duck, but they didn't. Well, we don't have any ducks to give. I know. We're all out of ducks to give. <laughs> that kind of sounds funny. Um, but they had a whole dashboard full of ducks. So I was yeah. like, maybe when I come out of lunch, I'll have a duck on my car, but I didn't. It's so inside the Jeep Wrangler, as someone who is almost six foot six, I fit great. I was actually kind of surprised. Um, I, I figured, you know, if you just were treating this like a two seater, just pretend the back seat doesn't exist, we wouldn't have trouble getting comfortable. This is how we've both been driving. The steering wheel comes out nice and far. This thing looks and feels great. Now, this is the Rubicon X package, which means this thing is loaded to the gills. So you have pretty much every option. You got the upgraded seats. They've got like, I think Napa leather. Um, they're like 12 way adjustable or something. They're pretty comfy for an off-road vehicle. They're cushier um, than I would have expected. Yeah, they're a lot cushier than you 
you'd expect. The interior looks nice. Love the blue accents of the 4xe. I know we've said that multiple times. Oh, and but the stand like, fits. I forgot to mention. Oh, yeah, the Stanley does. It's a little fit. tight. Yeah, oh, it is. Yeah. yeah it see, is it's a like a rubber. Bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, it's rubberized. Yeah, because yeah. the interior is meant to get dirty it's a and wet. Tight, but it fits good. You know, get hosed out or whatever. But you've got the upgraded uh, stereo system. I think it's Alpine stereo system. Upgraded 12.3 inch uh, infotainment screen, which I believe is standard across all of the 2024 Wranglers. And it looks fantastic. Um, it looks really, really good. I'm really impressed with the graphics and the quality yeah, of that Yeah, and when you screen. turn the car on, a little Jeep drives Yeah, a little Jeep the... comes across. Um, now, you get the analog gauges. I mean, that's not the end of the world, but I do think that that kind of center screen um, that you get in the gauge cluster looks fine, but there's just so many things are going to, like, you know, digital gauge clusters. I'm not going to knock it for that, but the gauges definitely have that kind of, like, we'll say old school. Maybe it's charming old school. I think it's they, charming. Yeah, they definitely look old school, all right? You're and old And then school. you've got your uh, all your four-wheel drive stuff down here. Um, now, Jeep still like to do the old school transfer case style with a separate kind of gear selector for that. Uh, so hardcore. maybe there's a theme, though. An old school theme. Thing like that's the worst sounding truck I've ever heard in my life. Um, yeah, so anyway, exploding truck. So back to the review. The old school gear shift down here. So Jeeps require you to sort of, you know, go to neutral and roll forward and do all this, whereas a lot of other brands. Ford Bronco, the Toyota off-road vehicles are doing it electronically where you just stop, shift to neutral, press a button and it all shifts. I know hardcore off-road guys, you're probably like, ah, do it with the old school lever, like in the Forerunner or something. I get it. Um, I'm just pointing that out. I don't mind. I certainly, if I owned a Jeep, wouldn't mind doing it that way. I just think as we move to more, you know, electronic things and more convenience. Yeah, maybe Jeep is trying to keep, like, uh, there's make the, a There's definitely to, a charm yeah. to it. Yeah, there's still definitely kind of a Wrangler charm to it. Um, but it has all the options down here. You got your fr uh, front Only and rear. Only us real Jeep lovers would understand. Well, maybe. Front <laughs> and rear lockers. You got your off-road plus. You've got a uh, sway bar disconnect. So this is a fully loaded Rubicon model. This can go off-road as far as most of you guys and us are ever likely to go and it can do all of the off-road things but i have to admit i'm pretty impressed with the interior of this from a roominess standpoint and just from an option standpoint and as we saw uh it has the power roof which yeah, maybe we've really done fun. maybe we haven't done it yet have we done it yet have we done it yet i don't know i don't know it's all in the edit okay so since it's a jeep we all know it doesn't need running boards obviously who would think that but it's kind of a little <laughs> who would say that who would say that it's a pretty big little step up in here, which oh. I love because that means I'm high off the ground. Which it's normal for me. Yeah, but you're weirdly, weirdly weird. This is my favorite. It is so smooth and so soft, and it has the thing here, but you can still put your hand there, so I kind of like it. Um, I by love thing. You always mean spoke. Spoke. Um, the the seat. I think the seat's very comfortable. It is pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's cushy. It's comfortable. I love all the. There's. Can you see this? Um, the textures. The textured yeah. stuff. It goes all the way over here, and yeah. then it's like stitched all the way across. It's stitched here. It's stitched here. It's stitched on here. Like it's stitched over here. Stitched on the. Oh, that's not blue. What's not blue? The emergency brake. Oh. It has stitching, but it's not bright blue. Oh. Oh, and neither is the stitching on this. I feel uh -oh. like they missed a. Uh oh. You know. Take that it back. would have just been an extra little thing. Return it. <laughs> but everything, like all the buttons, so like it looks so tough. I think I love that. Like they're not trying to make it look luxury. Like it looks luxury because like everything is like super nice, but like it's so tough. Like this looks tough to me. All these buttons are like tough. There's like red stuff that looks tough. There's like red. There's a picture of a Jeep here. Yeah, there's a lot of little Jeep Easter eggs. Yes, it's so cute. It's another Jeep thing. It is? Yeah, they put like little Jeep Easter eggs. Oh yeah, eggs. doesn't every Jeep have a, have you heard this? Every Jeep has a shape or something like an animal. A what? I have, is this, am I crazy? I've seen this on TikTok or something. Oh. Every Jeep has like a lizard or like a little a bear. Lizard. Like a different animal. Oh. Well, like I hope you're talking about a Jeep and it's not like a Bronco or a Forerunner or I'm something. I'm pretty sure it's a Jeep. Oh. Google it and let me know. Okay. Um, you can put a little box. This is news to me. I yeah, just no. Failed I'm the pretty channel. sure. And what if I could find it? But we'll look we later. I don't have time for that. <laughs> but I think that's a thing. Um, but I just think it looks like, it looks like how you would expect a Jeep would look like a really nice Jeep. And I've gotten a lot of comments about my really nice Jeep this week. And I'm always like, thank you. It is nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna disappear <laughs> I just in a like week. It's mine. I know, it's sad. And then everybody's gonna be like, oh right, you're poor. <laughs> They're gonna see me driving my old, yeah, old suburban. suburban with 180,000 miles on it and be like, oh. Do you wanna open the roof? Yes, can I do it? Yeah. Do I have to start it? Yeah, turn it on. This is gonna be so. Okay. 
What button do I press? This one? Yep. Do I just go right now? Yeah, I'm so it. nervous. The top one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like sliding back, like panel by panel, sort of. Yeah. Oh my God. This is so cool. Can we drive like this on the way home? I mean, if you want. It'll be so cold, but can we do it? Can yeah. we like blare, blast the heat? Oh, and back there, it just slides all the way. Is that as far as it goes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't open like all the way. Oh, I thought it did. Oh! Whoa. <laughs> My bad. Oh, so it doesn't go any further than that. I feel like I'm out the roof. So you have a lot of headspace. <laughs> when the top is open, yeah. yeah. I don't know, is there less headspace when it's closed? Uh, maybe, maybe slightly. But yeah. I don't know. Um, my knees are like touching. Yeah, this is the downside of a Wrangler. There's not a lot of space, but I do so far back. So like this person will probably be up a little bit further like in fourth or in, in real life. So I'd have probably a little more space. The seat is pretty, I mean, it's like sturdy, but like yeah, not bad, not comfortable, not too uncomfortable. Um, This is like not real material, is it? Yeah, because that just comes off. That's so cool. But all that you have to screw off. Is that kind of a pain? I don't think so. No? You probably do it in like 20 minutes. And then you just like probably keep it off for a while, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, what about, would this get bad if it got wet? The I mean, felty stuff? it's meant, it's all supposed to be able to get wet. I would not want these fancy seats to get wet. Yeah, not at this price. Um, so anyway, Which not we'll too bad. To. Are there any cup holders back here? I mean, Jeep. Oh, in the they, thing. They probably if you care. pull down the. Yeah, check the thing. Yeah, there are, there are a couple right here if you yeah. pull this down. Um, but not a ton of space. But like I said, if, with this open, like I feel like if you were out driving, having fun, you wouldn't care like if you had a bunch of space here because it is like right. free. You're not like claustrophobic back yeah. here. So, yeah, I like it. And the and the blue stitching is it might be a little really small nice. for our family. No, it's perfect. Oh, okay, okay. So, a little bit of a Wrangler downside for Do you me. Uh, I could if the seat was moved up. It does feel nice. This leather does, does feel. It does feel really nice. And the seat is comfortable. You were right. Like this is it's like, a. It's like firm, but like. Comfortable. Yeah, yeah. No, it's comfortable. Now I will say, I think uh, if I remember correctly, that this upgraded stereo thing. I don't think all of them have uh, this thing. This is here for like the upgraded, you know, stereo or whatever. Um, does encroach on headroom just a bit. This is a little bit tight, although I can sit well, up But your straight. head isn't up there. Yeah, I do have uh, space here. Like the roof is up here, so I do have space. But the back seat, I can squeeze behind myself in a Bronco. Barely here, not really. It's not super comfortable, um, but it really depends. I mean, you know, if you're gonna get a Jeep Wrangler, I don't think we're blowing anyone's minds by going, the Wrangler is a little compromised on space. I mean, this is a dedicated off-road vehicle, and this one is the Rubicon version. This is the one that's meant to go off-road. So you got to really think, well, you know, what do you need it for? We've had this conversation. Megan's been thinking about getting a new car. and One of the big debates that we have is, well, Ella already has her own car and drives, and Hallie, you know, we get driving a couple years. And so do we need all of that space? Do we need all the space that we used to have in her old Suburban? Um, I, it doesn't really bother me all that much, honestly. I, I would prefer downsizing. So yeah, if you're almost six foot six, you're probably not gonna be sitting behind yourself, but I didn't think most of you expected that to work out. I don't think anybody saw me get back here and go, I bet he's gonna fit. Behind the wheel of the Wrangler 4 by e the enthusiast's perspective, um, I'm actually kind of surprised by how much I have enjoyed driving this Isn't it thing. so fun? Yeah, uh, I drove it more good. than you. Yeah, you did. You drove it a lot more than I did this week, um, just because the girls insisted upon. Well, I, really, being, just because I wouldn't let you. Well, right, you wouldn't let me, and the every girls morning wanted, you'd say, "Are you taking the jeep?" And what did I say? Yeah, you said <laughs> yes, and then just took it. Yep. Um, and the girls wanted to be picked up by you, uh, especially Hallie from school, because she wanted to be picked up in the awesome jeep. So you've been driving a lot more than me. Um, but I, I enjoy driving it. Like I've got plenty of room up here, more so than I thought. Um, and it rides better than I was expecting. And if you don't know, uh, if you're a hardcore Jeeper and you understand Jeep life, then you know that Jeeps have two solid axles. Um, and so 
that's great for off-roading purposes. It's not always the best for handling and steering feel. Now the steering is still Jeep vague. What do I mean? I mean, you can go like this with the wheel and nothing oh. happens. Oh, something um, is happening though. Well, barely. Um, I'm saying I'm moving the wheel a ton and oh, nothing's okay. hardly happening. Um, but the comfort of the ride, the, the suspension, the damping of the suspension is quite good for a off-road vehicle. Um, in fact, we're going down this hill. We're about to come to a place with some rather unpleasant bumps in it where we always go when you're holding oh, the camera. No. So this okay, is a you know what? strategic mistake. I'll do my but best. right here, we're going to hit oh. these bumps and that's very comfortable in this Jeep. So I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. This is a much easier vehicle to live with than I was Whoa. expecting. Now, what about that powertrain from behind the wheel, the plug-in hybrid powertrain? There's two things that immediately jumped out at me uh, when I first drove this thing. One is that it's quite noisy, and I don't mean it's quite noisy in that like this is an open top vehicle and there's a lot of wind noise and stuff. That just comes with the Jeep territory, right? That's just what it's like having a Jeep. No, I mean like you constantly hear this four cylinder under the hood. It's like, <laughs> it's like this kind of raspy four cylinder and it's always going um is that a deal breaker for me no i would just chalk that up to again it's an off-road vehicle but i do think it probably could be a little bit quieter like it's always there and then weirdly in ev mode it's also noisy there's this like like yes, EV, yes that's what i heard yeah ev wine which seems also a little bit annoying not a deal breaker. I still think this thing is fun to drive and I would still prefer having that PHEV option if I can, but it's there and you can't like not notice it. It's just kind of weird to me that there's not some mitigation. I even think this one's supposed to have like active sound cancellation and I'm like, no, no, if it does, it's not working at all because you hear that constantly. Um, now, positive of the powertrain, this thing's quite a bit faster than you would think it would be, okay? You forget, like you really do forget that this thing has 470 pound feet of torque. That is a lot of torque. And I think it's maybe because that four cylinder rasp is constantly going and you're like, uh, oh, it's just the four cylinder and the engine's kind of working. But then you pull out into traffic and you put your foot down and you're like, whoa, like this thing has yeah, it's got good pickup. Yeah, it has really good pickup. It reminds me a lot of the Toyota iForce Max engines where they're sort of like that torque is a lot more powerful than you're expecting. And when you dig into it, it goes. So if I just put my foot down. Oh, whoa, you gotta warn me. Like, yeah, it drops a couple gears and it goes. So that's very impressive. I think that is a great benefit of having that hybrid low down torque. Um, is that this thing will move. Doesn't sound great doing it, but it will move. I now, probably cut your head off when you did that. Though. Well, you know, what else is there? I get my head cut off like at least four or five times oh per uh, interior review that video. That is not true. That is an exaggeration. Now, eight-speed automatic transmission is not bad. Um, I do notice that at lower speeds, and we noticed this some with the Mazda CX-90, at lower speeds, it seems to be going, how should I divvy up the power coming from these sources? I got the electric motor, I got the gas engine, and I'm divvying up the power. So like powder, power, powder, power. Po power. Um, and so there's a little bit of like, you feel the transmission kind of shifting gears or the different, um, power sources changing. Uh, and as you noted, the stronger region of the brake is a little bit overly strong and not super smooth. It's not as well integrated as it is on some other uh, hybrid. And I don't even think you get used to it. Like no. Some, some I get used to, and it's, this one I couldn't even get used to. You don't, uh, you're absolutely right about that. You don't get used to it, and it's mainly because it's inconsistent. Like sometimes when you're at speed and you take your foot off of the gas, it slows down at a gradual rate that seems. And sometimes it just. And then sometimes yeah, you know, it just slopes yeah, and, and like. A jerky ride. Yeah, and so in low speed traffic, you can be kind of herky jerky. I rarely <laughs> her, herky jerky. Herky -jerky. I rarely turn those things off and I turned it off in this because it just got so irritating that I was like, forget it. I don't care about the region. I'll just plug it in at home. So those are just a few little, uh, you know, quibbles that I have with the way that this thing drives that are not related to the Jeep driving experience. This thing is a more refined and better driving 
Wrangler than if you have an old Wrangler than, than you would expect. You will be very happy with the way that this Wrangler drives. I don't want you to think that it's not a better driving Wrangler because it is very oh, easy. So good. Yeah, very easy to live with and very comfortable. These seats are great. I, I really enjoy these seats and I got mad scoliosis and I, I can't say that about a lot of seats. Now, we didn't get to take this thing off road, unfortunately, um, because it was the last week of school. We were wrapping up and we just didn't, there's no way we had time to do that. Um, but this is the fully like Rubicon off-road trim. And I don't think you pay a penalty in ride quality and livability with that at all. Like if anything, you don't pay any penalty and it looks the business. I was and gonna say, I think you gained something because it yeah. actually looks so cool. Well, it was kind of like how when I had the Bronco Raptor and I was like, this ride's like better than the regular Bronco because you have so much suspension travel. Um, it's just so comfortable. So, I, I mean, there's a lot of things that you do like about this. I've never considered myself a Jeep guy. You've never considered yourself a Jeep gal, but- But now I am a Jeep queen. I, yeah, yeah, Jeep queen, Jeep queen, Jeep queen, queen and king, king and queen? No, no. No, just, just you, just you, yeah, okay. Just me. Yeah, not me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you Jeep, didn't drive it enough. Jeep jester, you did, you Jeep bond. court That's jester. probably more accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I could totally see living with this thing. But then there's the issue of the price. So wrapping up this Wrangler 4xe review, I, I really enjoyed living with the Wrangler 4xe. I like that it's a PHEV. I like that we have that electric option. We work really close to home, so we were able to drive it in full EV mode quite often. Um, it is a little thrashy. There are some downsides, but it was very pleasant to live with, very pleasant to drive. And of course, it has that sort of legendary Jeep off-road ability. The other thing that I think is really cool about this is that you can use that 4xe to your advantage because you can see save the electricity like you can in some other PHEVs, you could go to the trails, to the campsite, and then while you're on the trail, go into full electric mode and just kind of silently cruise through the trails. It also also comes with a sort of like reverse inverter that you can plug into the power port right there. And it has a whole bank of outlets and USB A and C chargers. So you can get to the campsite with a full battery and then plug that in and then power a bunch of stuff in your campsite. That's, cool. That's a fantastic Jeepy thing to include in this. I love that they include that in there and that thing fits under the floor back there. So that's just, I like that a lot. I really like that Jeep is thinking, okay, how can we integrate that sort of plug-in hybrid versatility with this sort of Jeep ethos, right? That sort of outdoor lifestyle. Now, a couple negatives. We've been saying this the whole review. This thing costs $77,000. A lot of you probably just went, oh, click, this video's over. $77,000, okay, that's a lot. Let me put that into some context. A lot of cars are expensive now. This thing can do incredible things off-road. It's a plug-in hybrid. It can go 20 miles on EV power. You've got a lot of versatility packed into this. Is it still a lifestyle vehicle that costs 77 grand? Yes, there's no getting around that, okay? If you have the money, this thing is a very cool and interesting option. A lot of you guys, 77 grand is going to be a non-starter. For us, it's probably a non-starter. Like the 77 grand, we can't do that. Can't can't afford that. At least not until this channel well, grows. Like and dreams. subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, but like 77 thousand dollars is a lot of money for what this is. You're not all that far off the 392 Hemi price at that point. You know what I'm saying? So you have to keep that in mind other thing that you have to keep in mind, Jeep's reputation is a little iffy when it comes to quality. We we owned one. The first car we bought when we got married was a Jeep Cherokee. We didn't even have it a year. Which I and loved. Though. Which you loved. You loved it. It looked great and we liked it. There's a lot. We traded it in after a year because so many things went wrong on it. And that's- Like the, like the driver's side window The window broke, stopped the working, broke, electronic yeah. stuff. We had engine problems within the first year. It, 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 that's ridiculous, obviously. That's something you have to consider. Consumer Reports just put Jeep in the bottom 10 of, you know, the Wrangler was one of the models in the bottom 10 for like overall reliability. But JD Power constantly lists uh, Dodge, Ram, and Jeep at near the top of initial satisfaction. So people love these things. They love these things despite that. So it's just something that you have to keep in mind. And we try to be honest on this channel. Megan even said, you, you even said that you like this thing regardless. I or do. have you said it yet? <laughs> have you said it yet? Because you're going to wrap up. Anyway, let's get to you then. So I, my little wrap up. I just love this car. Look at the cute little Jeeps on the tires. We used to call it the Megan Minute, but it's way longer than a minute. <laughs> because I can't put everything I feel into Get a minute. Get comfortable, viewers. Well, hopefully they're already comfortable because they're watching the whole video yep. from start to finish. Probably on the toilet. 
what? <laughs> That's where you watch videos. That's not where everybody watches videos. Maybe, don't judge me. Um, <laughs> so the exterior, like I'm going, okay, I'll, I'll tell you why I'm not gonna go to 10 out of 10. What, not a 10 Yeah, because look how that looks like that. I don't oh. like how the roof looks like accordion like that up there. I don't love that. Well, that's the power roof. Yeah, but I don't love that. So what if it had a normal roof? What does that mean? Like it comes all the way off? Right, right. You just take but it then off. you have to take it off manually. So well, then it loses some of yeah, the like I fun. I'm not sure you're as much of a Jeep girl as you thought. Yes, I am. But I want someone else to take all this stuff off for okay, me, and then so, I just drive it. Right. Okay. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go 9.75. 9.75 out of yeah, 10. Yeah, because of that. Because of that. Um, but it looks so good. I love it. I and I actually really like the silver color. Do you? Yeah, I, it looks good. Like I think this. it looks good with the blue accents, and it kind of sticks out, and it's like yeah. bright and fun, and yeah. I like it. Um, but I would get a Jeep in like a fun color. Like if you're gonna get a Jeep. Oh, of course. Yeah, get it in like bright blue or bright red, or I don't know, I think this is pretty fun. Bright yellow. I've seen a lot of yellow Jeeps. Yeah. Is that a thing? It kind of look like a Tonka toy. You look like a Tonka toy. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> you look like a Lincoln log, kind of. That doesn't make any sense. I think so. I think the viewers would agree. Um, so 9.75 out of 10. Interior, I mean, space-wise, it's not the greatest. Um, I'm gonna go like, Eight and a half out of ten. Maybe a nine. There's just not a lot of space. All right. But if space is not your thing, like when you buy me this Jeep. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna care if there's people in the back seat, because like I'm in it just for me and my enjoyment. Um, so if you don't care about space, I bump that up to like a nine and a half. But space wise, I'm gonna go eight and a half because it really isn't very spacious. But it is super super comfortable. And it's a little loud. It's a yes. little loud. Over the drive, I really like the way it drives. I, I think it's fun. I'm gonna go. I don't know, 10 out of 10? Whoa. Yeah, Whoa, like, 10 out of 10. Well, I think it drives like you would want a big, trucky Jeep to drive, right? So I'm gonna go 10 out of 10. So overall, I don't know if you averaged all those up. I can't remember all the numbers I just gave. But overall, I think she's like a solid nine and a half. Nine to nine and a half out Whoa. of 10. It is so cool and so fun. And like I said, it like makes you like feel like you can do anything. I can go anywhere, nothing is stopping me. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Yes, that's how I feel. So if you agree, or even if you don't agree, it's fine. I was going to say, don't limit it to just We agree. can agree to disagree. Yeah. It's okay. Um, and you want to see more videos, like, subscribe, ring the bell. And we'll get a Jeep. And we'll get a <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. No, we won't see. We'll do it. All right, real quick. Okay. Because we forgot to film this at the park. <laughs> we did. I'm putting you on the spot and you have to answer. Your favorite SUVs, Jeep Wrangler, Ford Bronco. You're throwing another one? Toyota Sequoia. Oh my God. What, it, what, what do you want right now? What does your heart tell you? Well. This video has a time limit. I don't know. Why do I have to answer? I don't think the Sequoia is in that, in that, because I think a Sequoia could be like a family car. And well, it I can be, but we're talking about a car for you. I mean... To replace the old Suburban behind Okay, you. if I had to pick right now, I'd probably pick the Bronco just because it's in between this and this. I feel like it's in between this and the Sequoia. Okay. Because this is really small. But, like, if I could have this and, and like... a Sequoia. A Sequoia, then I would do that. Oh. But you know what I mean? Don't you think the, 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 the Bronco is, like, in between? Yeah. Right? This is just really small and really not... A family car. So, like, if I needed to take you, me, and a kid or two kids somewhere, this is not the best option. And we like to road trip. We that do. is something that we and do. And this often. is not a road trip car. No. 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 So, like, if I could have this as a bonus car. Okay. Well, this channel needs to do a lot better. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> you look so cool. Living Jeep life. Look how cool you are. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool guy. Your turn. All right. Are we going? Yes. All right, let me just double check the Oh my gosh. This is a cool guy knows the numbers. Yeah. Stop that, that Mr. noise. Mr. Miyagi. No, it's the noise. <laughs>